Yo, this your boy Trick Daddy Dollars. This is another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's, it's very hot out here. It's gonna be a hot, long, long summer. It reached over 100 degrees in damn near every state in the country. 100 degrees in damn near every state? They had them sweat like hookers in church. I'm telling you, man, y'all gotta be careful out there. And RIP, man, to one of the one of my funniest, man, Mr. Uh, Leota, one of the mob, one of the old mobsters played in a lot of mob movies. Very talented actor, died in his sleep. The best way to die, personally, if you ask me, you know what I'm saying? Because me, I'm, a, I'm afraid of heights, terrified of, uh, of the ocean, and damn sure ain't gonna never burn to death. So if you ever hear that I got caught in a house fire or in a boating accident or something like that, I did not die from drowning. I died of a massive heart attack because I'm terrified of that. You're gonna never catch me on no goddamn uh, motorcycle. I don't do stupid stuff. CO tried to get me to jump out of a helicopter out of an airplane. What the hell I'm doing that for? And if y'all wanted me to join the army or military a long time ago, I got about 20 niggas that's in the federal and the state penitentiary that I'm trying to release. If y'all help me get them out, then we'll go fight for this country. Other than that, you, go, you on your own. Shit, we already at war out here in the streets. Speaking of war and speaking in the streets, something I told y'all before that y'all probably don't remember. Something that a lot of people who think they're gangster and street, think they got all the smarts in the world, don't even know. Some, some of you rich folks didn't even realize that the United States have 120 guns per every citizen. Y'all make that shit make sense for me. And I can't make this up. You don't believe me? You Google it. You go on the, on the gun archive. You go Wikipedia. They'll tell you. They average 120.5 firearms for every citizen in the country. What the hell we need all them guns for? What we need all the guns for? And then a lot of the politicians are playing these, these games and they don't wanna, they don't wanna do certain things, they don't want no gun reform, they don't wanna change the laws about guns. Okay. So what? You have a right to um, bear arms. I don't have a right to bear arms because why? Because another law that you came up with convicted me of years ago. Now I'm different from everybody, from every other citizen in the world. So what does that mean? I don't have to pay taxes? What does that mean? I, don't, I shouldn't pay toll? I shouldn't pay rent and light bill? My gas and food should be free? Tell me, if you're gonna penalize me for the rest of my life for something that I did as a little boy and, 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 and label me as a convicted felon to the point where I can't carry or possess a firearm and you wanna sit here and argue that it's good that you have racist bigots and other hate groups that owns firearms and magazines of large capacity, 152, 300 rounds. Who needs 300 rounds? Who the fuck you going to war with? Then you got these sucker states. I call them sucker states. And out of all states, Texas among one of them. They have now approved of teachers having guns at school. Teachers can't even fucking teach at school because y'all not paying them enough. They can't teach at school because your kids are not respecting them and not paying attention enough because you're not parenting right at home. Now you gonna get a teacher a right to carry a gun to school? Lord help us. Because as soon as one of them kids get aggravated and get mad and get their hands on one of them guns, I want every senator, every lawman that approved this, you need to be convicted of murder. You need to be convicted of murder. We don't need guns. If you want us to believe the Constitution, if you want us to sing your songs, if you want us to buy by your laws and your rules and regulations, then you need to make sure we can be safe in this world. 
I'm tired of this shit. Are we in competition with third world countries or something? Are we in, when, when, since when we have to worry about our kids dying at church, at the grocery store, at school of all places? Y'all stay woke. And remember, I can't make this shit up. And I don't apologize. So anybody who I offended today, fuck you. Stay tuned right now. If you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. Bitch, I got my puss. I'll be right back. I'm frying this chicken right here. Bon y'all pimp. That's what they call it. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies. Bitch, I got my pot. This next artist is a rap star turned reality TV to now a comedian. Yep, that's right. I'm talking about the trouble man himself. With at least 11 studio albums in total, here are the top five TI albums of all time in the United States. Number five, T.I. vs. T.I.P. It was released on July 3rd, 2007, and it went platinum on August 30th, 2007. And I know you remember the breakout single on this album. Big shit popping and little shit stopping. <laughs> Number four, Trap Music. It was released on August 19th, 2003, and it went platinum on June 1st, 2007. And he was featured on Bone Crusher's song, Never Scared. And that's when he really took off. Then came 24 and the rest is history. So what you know about number three? King, it was released on March 19, 2006, and it went platinum on April 25th, 2006. Number two, Urban Legend, released November 23rd, 2004, and it went platinum on March 3rd, 2005. And this is when T.I. really had the streets on lock with ASAP, Motivation, and Stand Up featuring our very own Trick Daddy Dollars, while simultaneously scratching the surface of the commercial world with You Don't Know Me and Bring Him Out. Young Jeezy flipped the song ASAP to the infamous diss song towards Gucci Man, Stay Scrap. Number one is my favorite album from the King of the South. Paper Trail. Released September 30th, 2008, it went two times multi-platinum on August 26, 2009. And T.I. had the commercial songs playing everywhere and you couldn't escape Swagger Like Us, Dead and Gone, Live Your Life with Rihanna, and Whatever You Like. Despite the hits on this album, this came at a time when he was fighting demons with the law. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts. Courtesy of the RIAA. What's your favorite album by Tip? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara and this is another Top 5 on Trick Daddy. Bitch, I got my pot. I got my pot. Ha <laughs> ha, welcome back to Bitch, I Got My Pot. Today we've been talking about a lot of crazy things that's going on in this country. And don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect. And I always believe in saying that some of us better than most of us, but ain't none of us better than all of us. But, you know, God doesn't look out for babies and fools. Everybody else on their own. So you know better is to do better. We got to start back praying together. We got to start back, you know what I'm saying, believing in sins like a family that, a family that prays together, stays together. We got to start back loving our neighbor and stop running to everybody's name and try to figure out if they're, they're a sexual predator or they selling drugs or, or they doing fraud. Mind your own damn business. It'll cause a one dime you stay out of another person's business. Mind your own business and concentrate on your kids and your household. And ladies, if you haven't already had a baby from the wrong nigga, now is not the time to do so. Wrong niggas is at an all time high. There's a lot of y'all been fucking niggas that don't even deserve to have no, to get no pussy. And y'all need to stop it because the kids are suffering. The kids are suffering. The little boys are suffering for not having their father so they don't have no respect for the women. The little girls are suffering from their mama being in their 40s still hanging in the clubs. A nigga don't want no 45 year old that ain't got nobody. Something wrong with you. The game that pass you by. Stop trying to live your life through your kids. Live your life for your kids. But to your little, your little, when you 45 years old and you decide to have a baby, from a 25 year old, that's like, that's worse than child abuse. Not only is you gonna be the oldest motherfucker at, this, at the PTA meeting, but you gonna be out of the loop. You ain't gonna know what the hell is going on in the world. You gonna be so behind that, that, that nigga and that baby gonna run circles around you. And in order for us to live better in this country, 
we have to start taking our own self out of the equation. We have to start blaming our own selves when our kids do certain things. I'm tired of seeing parents on the news screaming, oh, he was a good child, he ain't did nothing to nobody. And I believe you. I, well, I believe that you believe that because you don't know your child. You got to start knowing your child. You got to start knowing your child when 13, 14, and 15 year old kids go to determine that they got boyfriends or girlfriends or go to decide that they want to change their sex and they don't want to be the sex that they're born in. You have to be a parent, not disown them, not turn your back on them, but talk to them and explain to them about life. Stop trying to be your children's best friends. Stop trying to please the daddies. Cause stop doing that. I'm gonna add these red onions into this rice. Some of y'all don't know about it. This is, this gonna be big right here. We gotta get back to the, we gotta get back to the regular basic living life where it's to, as a parent, you do as I say do, not what I do. And, to, and like I said, and to us as a people, get back control of our lives and our households, the country gonna be fucked up. Until that day, y'all just get ready for it. Whenever, I was, I was brought up with, if I saw an old lady, I was to say yes. If I saw an old lady, I, I addressed her as yes ma'am. An older guy was yes sir. He was dad or uh, uncle. Uh, even if he was just five years older than me. And feeding these kids all these fast food with all this fucked up hormones and shit in it, that ain't helping either. Get your sorry ass up and get in that kitchen and make some cabbage. Look, I, I had little kids telling me, oh, I don't eat that. You ask my mom. I call and ask his mom. I say, well, I cook and he ain't ate. He said he don't eat cabbage. You eat what the fuck I cook for you, boy. That's the way I was raised. So this is how I tricked him. I put sugar in my cabbage. Before they even realized what they was doing, that's for you St. Louis niggas too, because y'all try to put it in the grits. Put it in the cabbage. Don't put it in the goddamn grits. Sugar don't go on no damn grits. I ain't gonna keep telling y'all that every show either. Sugar do not go in grits. I know that for a fact. And we don't want them to think it's no candy and no treat. So I'm gonna keep me some black pepper in it. You gotta keep a little salt and pepper in it because it even out the flavor. A little salt, a little pepper. Cause you still want a little flavor, a little season. Now, you know, we put Sunday season on everything. A little accent, it wakes the flavor up. Don't use too much accent, that shit'll kill you. Coming right up, I got a very special guest. Y'all gonna love her. I was in love with her. CO was in love with her. This nigga Antoine think he gonna take a picture with her, but he got he got me fucked up. Stay right, stay locked, keep it tuned. If you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. I'll be right back. I got my chicken on the stove. I got my cabbage good. I put the red onions in my rice. I'm gonna make that 40, that 40 weight. Yeah, that's that's real gravy made from scratch, so y'all don't know. This your boy Trick Daddy Dollar, and you're watching. Bitch, I got my pots. Ha <laughs> ha. I got my pots. Ha <laughs> ha. This your boy Trick Daddy Dollars, and I'm back with you. With Bitch, I got my pots. Now the day I'm cooking some. What I'm doing right here? These onions, sweet onions. I can't do nothing with no white onions. You can take that how you want to take it. But I'm making my gravy, what they call it in the hood, the 40 weight. I'm making this gravy from scratch. I'm really gonna do it real good because my next guest is somebody who is really from the hood, but somebody who I want to impress with this gravy, you know? I really want to impress her with this gravy. So while I'm getting this 40 weight together, what I need y'all to do is, 
Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, bitch, I got my pots. And I want you to just take your, take me down memory lane, take yourself down memory lane, and ask yourself, out of all the black actresses that ever appeared on TV, which one did you have a crush on? I wanna know which one you had a crush on, which one you say, when I see her, I got to have her. That's what I wanna know. Now I wanna introduce y'all to my next guest. Give it up for the very talented and beautiful Miss Lisa Ray. And that her name is not fucking Lisa. Her name is Lisa Ray. <laughs> What's, What's up, baby? Happening? What's going nah. on? Who? 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 I, who? How many who? niggas, how many niggas you think gonna, gonna say you when they first crush? Crush. A lot, especially a lot of jail niggas. A lot of niggas in jail. Yeah. You know, I've been a pinup girl for a minute now, you know. But and, and, and I know that. Oh. That feels good, you know what I mean? I wasn't yeah. gonna tell you that, but I from what I from from what I've heard from my homeboys, uh -huh. you average At? two out of three sales in, in chain game oh, okay. with your with the calendar spread you did that time. Oh yeah, because I used to be one of the first actresses that really made a you know a, a, a stance with doing calendars year after year. I used to sell them out to the club, like you know. Like Master P out the trunk, I used to right. do that. Make a lot of money. That's what's up. Now, now, yeah. now, look, a lot of people don't know that you are really down to earth. You are down to earth person. And a lot of people take your kindness for your weakness. And I, I've heard you on many occasions have to check a few motherfuckers. First of all, you have to let the people know what is your zodiac sign. That may be explained. Oh, what you, that may okay. be explained <laughs> when you have to check you a motherfucker. I'm a Libra. Ha <laughs> ha! We are Libra, Libra gang in this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. And Don't get the boy. Libras fucked up. Shout out to my boy Brian McKinney. Shout out to Brian McKinney. He also a Libra. Yep. Actually, the Libra gang is very. We tied in. Well, we try to balance because we're the scales. You know well, you know, Jeezy is that. a Libra. Oh, yeah. T.I. Libra. Mm -hmm. Lil Wayne. Yes. Uh, Scotty Pippen. I know Scotty very well. Um, Nick Cannon is a Libra. Okay. All the people that I get along oh, with yeah, very we, well. Oh, yeah, we suited up. So all you Virgos, you Sagittarius, you Leos, no. y'all run Ooh, that Leos. shit. Run that shit. Leos. I, I don't know though, you know what I mean? Virgos is kind of like us a little bit, you know, especially if they're born on the cusp. Like that 21st, 22nd, 23rd, right up in there. Almost made it. Right, if almost it, made if, it, but if quite they mama, If their mama water wouldn't have broke. <laughs> that part, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I can't concentrate, because I'm over here looking at how you making everything. I I'm heard making about it your Sunday, the, your Sunday season, which I want to take some home with me. I got you, you know you got I got me? you. Okay. Now listen, mm -hmm. everybody want to know, well, is she single? Is she married? Is she engaged? Is she dating? They all know I ain't married no more. You ain't married well, no more. Right, but I am single. Okay. And looking. And you were married. Yeah, I was. Not to that, not to that, that dude from... Turks and Caicos. Oh yeah, they, they, I heard about Buddy. Which made me the first African-American actress to be a first lady. Oh, big, y'all. That's big. And I'm so glad that you had this white apron. Man, when I've watched the show before and I saw the black, I was like, no, is he gonna try to put black on me? So thank you for this white apron. I can take this home too. Yeah, that's yours, that's yours. Okay, thank you. Anything you need out of here. And I see you we making fried you. chicken. Now, black folks are supposed to know how to make fried chicken, so I guess we're making this for the white folks. I'm making, I'm, what, what, what I'm doing <laughs> is actually, I'm gonna take half of the chicken mm -hmm. and I'm gonna smother it. So I made that gravy mm -hmm. with the 40 weight. That's what we call it in the hood. Normally I take that little tip right there and suck on that bone and see what that crust do. I can do that. You want to suck on the bone? I can do that. Yeah, suck on the bone. And it's that, I, I mean, if you think, if you, if you think, see, when they see you sucking on that bone, you know they gonna go really crazy. And them is some real eyes too. <laughs> them are real eyes, they, they look scary. Lick on the finger. Oh my God. Does that make your finger looking good? That crust is right. Listen to that. That Sunday seasoning. My mic sound nice, Chad. One. Right. Y'all hear us sucking. 
You hear me sucking? Yes, I hear you, you sucking. Hear me sucking you, I hope you don't, I hope I don't get burnt over here trying to listen to you suck and then put this chicken in his grease. Let me turn the mic up then. So, you, you, we was talking, they was talking about tr trying to get you to do a hot 16 because we got a part of the show where we bring an artist out to do a hot 16. I saw you do a 16 before. Oh, uh, it'd be like 16 bars. <laughs> <laughs> so I see you do 16 bars. So where did you, did you write them 16 bars? Did you get help? I wrote about a good three of them. You know? a lot of I called my don't sister. Know. I called my sister. I said, you know what? I need you to help me with this rap. I had Benzino help me because I was just concentrating on doing it because I wanted to sing it first. But then, you know, um, I guess, you know, that didn't work out. But y'all don't know who her sister is. Her sister is the right. legendary brat. Y'all, y'all all right now? <laughs> Yes. Okay. We're gonna always because, be all right. Because you know, I fell out with my brother. I ain't all right with that nigga ass. Well, y'all need to fix that because that was I, one I, I thing that right hurt with that me. Nigga ass. People didn't realize they thought I was mad, but I was really hurt, and I had to search for that too. Like, what really is my issue here? And it was because of everything that I was hearing, and I didn't know personally, and I just felt left out. But and you so know, I had to be honest. That's why. Uh, that's why what people have to do. See, that could have that could have escalated into something bigger. It could have been something that damaged your family. It could have been some some things did or said that could have damaged y'all relationship for the rest of y'all life. A lot of times when people are talking and telling you what leave, they're leave, going leave through, leave me some, leave me that one right there. Okay, what they going through in life? A lot of times they they they're not they don't want your input. They vent. They want you to know how they feel. And they are, like she said, she was hurt. She wasn't as mad as she was hurt. So a lot of times what you have to do is you have to sit down and you have to listen. And, and reflect, because that's what I had to do, I had to reflect, because all of the comments was coming in the trolls and I was listening to that and it was like, oh wait, that's not how I feel. That's how they saw it and how they took it. That's not what I feel, but I love my sister, you know what I mean? And that's not gonna ever change. And so when there's an issue, so I just didn't like that it went so public and so viral, but I couldn't be fake about it because I'm not fake. So it was like, well, what you talking about, you know? It came on out, but yeah, we cool. I was at a I'm wedding. Glad, I'm glad. I'm glad to know that because I'm fond of you and your sister. I've been, I've, I've known both of y'all for many of years now, and I don't see no flaws in y'all. And the good thing about it, both of y'all are very outspoken. Y'all gonna speak your mind. Yeah. So when you're a person like that, when you don't hide nothing, when you don't bite your tongue, it's easy to resolve problems so you'll know where they come from. Cause you don't want to be like that nigga who would follow you home for a players club. <laughs> <laughs> what that nigga name was? The nigga, uh, what the nigga name was? Follow a hole for Players right, Club. Who was that? That the was nigga, so long ago. Come on, I know y'all Players Club. Come the on nigga now. was talking about he was making sure you all right. What's oh, pervert name? ass nigga. I can't even think of it. That's Antoine. Antoine. We gonna no, call no, him. No, no, Antoine. I, that nigga named Antoine. <laughs> that nigga named Antoine. Come on, you gotta Google it. <laughs> Somebody need to Google this nigga. This nigga <laughs> followed you home. This nigga was buying you shit. This nigga thought y'all went together. Yeah, and that's how it happens sometimes. It happens Even like now. that a lot. <laughs> I, I, I have to, I, I, you know, I, I frequent strip clubs. You do. I, I you love them. Say. I <laughs> love them, right? And I caught a nigga two weeks ago telling the girl, "What you doing working here?" I oh, went to that. Though. I went to that nigga. Went to the bathroom. I said, "Let me explain something to you, boy. If you fuck up my hand guy, <laughs> if that girl fuck around and quit, and she the finest one in here." Niggas, you crazy, nigga. If you have a problem with her being here, you need to stay out of here. But don't be trying to talk a bitch down off the pole. Wait, well, people don't know that I've had your cooking before when I left the strip club at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> and you cooked breakfast for me. So I know you can throw down breakfast. So I'm excited to have this. Oh, this ain't, this actually, I what I did was I dumped it down a little bit because we, we try to make the show not longer than an hour. Mm -hmm. So I didn't. I wanted something that I can cook and we it could cool off and we could eat and pray over it so we right. could see your your uh, facial reactions off of it. So I would have did like some oxtail. Well, you say you want to do that tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I got tomorrow. You got tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to make you some, week, I'm make you some, I'm make some oxtail, you. some red beans and rice. Ooh. I just like to lick my fingers. 
I, I, I'm going to watch you lick your fingers. I'm going to make sure you lick your fingers. I'm going to make okay. sure you have something to lick either way it go. How about that? I don't that? know how that sounds. Uh, it, it always going to sound bad. Okay. You, you know That's that a little. sound bite. Yeah. <laughs> I'll always give you something to lick. Mm, God. Mm. So what do you got going? What's your latest project? What you got going on? What you working on? Oh, my God. I have really been working a lot. Incredible. I have two shows on. Uh, one on AMC All Black called A House Divided is Emmy Nominated. Um, I have a show that's on BET called Family Business. Mm -hmm. I just did a uh, movie, a Lifetime movie, for T.D. Jakes for uh, The Seven Deadly Sins, and mine was called Greed. That was a total different character for me. I love playing that character. She was so menacing and so much different than I am. Um, I have my talk show on Fox Sun. I've watched it. Called Cocktails of Queens. I, I watched it. Y'all need me on that show. Well then, come on. Y'all need me on that show. I need okay, to be you a guest. Okay, you me on yours. I'll have to have you on mine. I, I mean, need to know. be a guest on your show, and I want y'all to ask me the questions that y'all want to ask your nigga. <laughs> Something that you want to roll over in bed and ask your nigga, I want you to ask me, and I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. Because women believe that all men do is lie, cheat, and watch no, 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 their no, no, dicks no, no, off no. and other on, women on. bathroom some sinks. Some women, some women believe that. Do I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Do you believe if your man is paying your bills, mm -hmm doing everything he's supposed to do, pleasing you sexually, mm -hmm. mentally, I'm happy. physically. If you found out that he was on the phone with another female or having a conversation with another female, it's a two-part question. Is that cheating? And, and if so, can he get a pass? Well, what kind of conversation are you talking about? Because I do believe that it's healthy for men to have female friends as well. Right. I'm not insecure like that. I don't want to make him feel like I'm just jealous where I don't trust the fact that he can have a female friend. That's okay. not real, because I got I get along with men better than women, because right. women make me want to, you know, put And I, I noticed that about you because that. a lot of women these days do things to please to please other women. They don't they don't they don't know oh, how to please the I'm man. I'm not doing no any more. of that to please anybody. I mean family is number one, but you know, you gotta be number one here. If I'm not okay with it and I don't feel comfortable, then it ain't happening, period. You know, what about so a pass? What about a pass? Let's say you that, knew something he done. Like what? Because <laughs> you got to be specific. Okay, so, okay, so, so remember this. I feel like this. I feel like a woman and a man should not be together or stay together if the woman, if the, if the woman ain't being the woman. Okay. Because a man could be a man, or you really a woman is what am I saying. But I think the man is supposed to pay the bulk of the bills, take the bulk of the responsibility. And then women is supposed to make sure that man is happy, able to go out there and get that money and come home and take care of Well, you his threw family. me off when you said the bulk of the bills. I See, mean, like the mortgage, the shit. The, you pay, I mean, he you, paying you, the bills is what I'm saying. Uh, well, you, you got you to gotta get something, Lisa Ray. You got to get the light bill. giving him ass. What do you mean? The water, but he giving you dick. Right. But that's supposed to be. Let's take it back biblically. Biblically, the man is supposed to be the provider and the king of the household. Now, the wife, the woman, is supposed to be the mother of the household. She takes care of the house. Now, we new millennial women, so that's a bonus that we get. Okay, that. so I'm going to be evenly yoked. I'm the hustle got to match the hustle. I'm going to tell you where it get off throw when it get thrown you pay off. The mortgage. You can't ask me to pay the light bill because I pay the mortgage. I'm going to tell you where it get thrown boss, off. I'm going to tell you where it get thrown off. Damn thing. That's what when I say. You're sick of me. You're going to tell me to get out. I'm not sick of you because you're supposed to be doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. I understand that. So, what? So, let's go back. Let's go back to the Bible. Let's go back right after the Bible. Let's go back right after the Bible. I think we need to go up to commercial because I think I need to get you to yeah. No, 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 no. Let's go back right after the Bible. Right after the Bible. Okay. Did your daddy pay for your wedding? No. See, see, that's where I fucked up at right there. My father was not living. That's why. Okay, so. But it would have still been a million dollar wedding. Believe that. Okay. Now, here's the thing. The father is supposed to give their daughters away. Okay. To the man. And the man is supposed to, at that point, Take, take care. all the responsibility. Okay, okay, okay. And my father now, we was do. a king, and now, I now, now, now. was a princess. Right now, I'm a queen, so you got to come with it. So, okay, so now, you don't for, be me stuck. To be come paying, on. for me to be paying all the bills, let's say I'm paying all the bills. That just let me know that you weren't used to it, but okay. Let's say I'm paying all the bills. No, that's the problem. I've paid all the bills for many of years. So that's this what you feel the problem okay, is. So if you wouldn't have paid all the I'm bills, paying maybe all you could have had bills. a break. So I can't afford to be a cheater, can I? I mean, here's the thing. If she doing what she's supposed to be doing, there you go. then you shouldn't even want to be there you a go. cheater. There you go. Because I asked my 
men that I've dated throughout the years, before we get to that point, give me an opportunity to change it, to make a difference before you go down. And if you got a guy that just want, has wandering eyes, I mean, that's cool, have a wandering eye. You can look all you want to, but give me that chance to say, hey baby, something missing in our relationship that is making you want to do that. Because see, I can be Becky, I can be Tanya, I can be Shaquita, and I can be Diamond. Right. He shouldn't have to go no place else to be seeing nobody else. The, the, uh, but the, so in other words, the problem with the problem with men and women are this. They want a variety. First of all, they want to really, switch it up. You first want some of all, spice. you have, you don't to, let the spice you have to be go attracted down. to the person that well, you're you should have been there when you chose her and when she chose and a lot you. Of, a lot of people not. Nah, people are a lot I don't of women these days. That. I don't know nothing about that. You man. have to be. You have to be. I'm a responsible for the men. You're responsible for the women. You okay. got to get your women together. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get them together. These one stories. at a time. One at a time. We starting right now. You know what? We need to have a podcast thing. Yeah, you we speak need that. on the men behalf. Yeah. I speak on the women behalf. Because I'm sure gonna teach them how to pay. And not pay all the bills. That's one thing I'm gonna do. And right they have there. to stop always trying to impress. Okay, well, and we stop don't. Here's some things. Like Here's some things we don't like. This is a preview <laughs> for the show. Some things that we don't like. You don't have to put that goddamn lace wig on every day. Especially if it ain't right. You don't have to put it on every day. If it ain't right, just don't do it at all. And you I don't put them want... bands right there like we don't know what's behind and under the bands. And everybody ain't got Ooh. baby hairs, okay? So stop. Or good hair. If you want to take a picture with me, you put a filter on. Now I got on lipstick and Ooh, eyelashes. Ooh, and eyelashes. Like mops. You know, if you put on eyeshadow, put your lash on after the eyeshadow. Because the remnants of that, you don't want that. Come on, come on. See that? You don't see that? See that? Tyra, she made my face up this morning. Ain't no remnants of no eyeshadow there. I like to do this right here. And you cannot like be friends with women that can't keep a man, a woman with five baby daddy, permissuous hoes. You can't be their friends. You can't hang out with them because they want you to do things. A woman will have you ride with her to see her friend, and it's a nigga that waiting on you, and she done gave your pussy away, and you won't even realize it. Okay, so would that be like when y'all take y'all homies and your bros and your niggas with y'all? And you go see somebody, and then there's a chick over there. Would that be like the same thing you're saying? Nah, and nine times out of ten, that chick over there ugly as fuck, and he got to take one for the team. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. The bitch, I got my box. Yeah, I'll be right back. What are you talking about? Huh? It'd be, <laughs> it'd be, but but it's usually, it's usually. I got my box. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome back. The bitch, I got my box. I got a beautiful, sexy, and talented Miss Lisa Ray. She in the house today. I, I had to get you together. I had to get you together. But, yeah. That's but to city back. girls are down. I just want you to know that. City girls are down? Yeah. Which gas went up. The price of pussy went down. I don't know what y'all going to do now. <laughs> I don't know what y'all going to do now. I think that depends on what kind of pussy you got. They, I'm telling you right now, they unsatisfactory. Oh, no. It depends on whose pussy you had. They trying to give them back. But so pussy I know. cat, you talking about ex pussy? You All the women, about... what the women are doing now is they're chasing the bag. This my is problem, true. my this thing is, is, what's in the bag? Oh, what's in the pot? Well, we got yellow rice with oh. red onions mm -hmm. with Sunday season. Oh, it ain't even sticking together either, and that's when you cook rice good, right? I mean, you, you know. working around the kitchen and everything. I mean, you know. Why oh, you about to get married again? I, I got to get you involved get first. Again? Oh, well then let me be, let me start that over. Ah, okay, you no, gonna but... stay married? <laughs> you wanna stay married? No, hell well, no. What? Oh, you know what? You I ready get up. married? I ready get married again? I'm, I'm gonna get. I, well, I don't want to get married again. I just want to make. I could just make you happy without marrying you. I mean, we could do that. Let's go together. She. I, 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 I kind of feel what you're saying because sometimes I feel like I don't really have to be married. I just want the happily ever after. But then I feel like the girl in me feels like I want to do it right this time around. You know what I mean? I, I, I want the, a smaller ceremony. I don't need all the bells and whistles. I just want a celebration. I think having the last name makes you feel more secure. You know, instead of just that common law thing. So I think that's what women kind of feel. Do you have kids? I have a daughter. Uh, does she have a daughter? I, I got know. two. I don't even need no four. I got two kids. And... And this is my place? It's, it's yours now, baby. Okay, of course. 
that okay, so now, right. as far as your chicken, you want smothered or you want both? Both. I'm really a fat girl on a skinny girl body. Okay. Can you see how I'm spreading a little bit back there? Bam. Yeah, yes, Ow. sir. I see what you mean, baby. Some of that gravy, that homemade gravy. Now I may so need a fork or a spoon or something. You got that hot sauce. Oh, you got that? Come on, baby. Look at you. Oh, you plating? Boy, you want to be you a chef, 40, chef, don't you? 40 weight. You got to get that 40 weight off the side. Mmm, let me see now. Oh, here goes a fork right here. Can 40. I start before you? Oh, no, we got to no, pray. No, we got we to say our prayer. If, if we, I like that about if you. If we don't do oh, that. Southern thug, then pray. Oh, my God, I get it. I got it. If we don't do that, boy, I'm going to get pulled over as soon as I leave this bitch. You know, you done did so much bad shit in life. Once you done fucked up so that's much in life, you got to you gotta start tightening up, man. Because and that's you called maturity. Well, yeah. See, how, yeah. see, you teaching me shit. See, ain't nobody teach me nothing in a long time. Karma and maturity. See. Hey, see? What's happening? See, see, are you eating chicken? You eat chicken? Put some on the plate. Do you eat chicken? No, I don't eat chicken. But so why would I put plate? some on the plate? It look good. No, nah, see, I'm gonna get some gravy. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get I, some gravy. I was just sitting back listening. Why don't y'all just date? Okay, oh, we, uh, uh, we could just uh, sleep together. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just sleep together sometimes. Yeah, just like, sleep together. Be like, yeah. Y'all would make a good couple. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Like, I'm tired. I would get I him need. all the way together. Let me tell you something. He's talking about he don't want to pay all the bills. He would have to be paying all the Trust bills. Trust me, he'll That's pay first all the bills. I pay all the bills. See, I see. Oh, I need now. a COO. There you go. She's flirting <laughs> with you the whole time. Is that what I've been doing? Is that how I've been batting my eyes? And he, well, you know what? They normally say that a way to a man stomach, I mean, her heart is a stomach, wait, wait. but I know how to cook too. So, you know, I'm waiting. Wait, my heart is my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> wait, my heart is my fingertips when I'm counting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's going to be hard. And, that, and, that's yeah, gonna, and that's the hard with the D, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and cheers on that, okay? <laughs> See, come on, see now. We got to. I like her, man. We got to like do her. better. <laughs> she real. Boy. See, we got to do better. She was eating the cabbage already. I, well, we eat with plastic. We gonna nah, be you. Before you eat, you got to. We got to say grace. Yes, I know. I know. You go, so you gonna say the grace? I can't say Cause the grace. Cause you been doing stuff with with preachers and all that. What you mean? I want like. I mean, you said you did a movie with um. TDJ production J. company. I want. I want to um. I don't want to do no movie. I just want some of that money, man. See, you like something like what I like. Shit. All bad bitch need is money. Right? Okay. Y'all so ready? what was it like being married? You like being married? Uh, it, it, let me see how I'm going to answer that. I think the institution of marriage when you are happy and you're with someone that you're evenly yoked with can be beautiful. I have not yet found that person. My problem is, my problem with marriage is it has to end. What? I feel like it has to end. Everything plays out nowadays because everybody's using all the new formats of this and new ways of this. The only way marriages will work if you go back to the old traditional ways. When the old man and lady start being together so long, they start dressing alike and looking alike. If you're not going to do that, it's not going to work. You can have that. You can have anything you want. Mm. You got to make it. Mm. You got to get with somebody to feel the same way you do. So when y'all have this together right here, and y'all come together as Kindle Spirits. You can have that. You got to change your mindset. Now watch Trick come with the white. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what it is. <laughs> y'all have to stop lying so much. And then we'll have this. Come on, let's pray, y'all. Yeah, because you're going to get me let's started pray. all over let's again. Pray. Lord, have mercy is what I'm going to say here. Father, God, thank you for fellowship, for allowing us to come together and and the power of relationships and knowing what that is. Thank you for allowing this man to be whom he is and all that he's going to be, because we know it's through your guidance, Father. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for Trick, for being able to cook and nourishment that's in this food that's gonna get in my stomach and in my belly, Father God. Thank you. We know that you've blessed us in the name of the Father. Amen. 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 You went to church too. You went to church. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't been to church. I, I, I eat now. 
Yes, you can. Right, I ain't you, been I in church. Ask you one question. Oh man, can I eat and talk at the same time? That's a, that's a heavy question. I can you, multitask. I see you into like church and stuff like that. Do you believe in forgiveness? Absolutely. Do you think you got to make up with Dwayne Martin? Why are you asking me that? <laughs> <laughs> what am I forgiving? <laughs> Yo, don't ask my no good like that. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be mature about it. I, I I will say this. I learned a big and huge lesson from his ex-wife Tisha, from her forgiveness for Mark. And I right. thought that was huge and very mature. And I'm growing spiritually and more maturely and all of that. And I'm not opposed to sitting down with Dwayne and having a conversation, but he has to be honest and he has to be real. And because I can't forgive anybody that's still lying. And so I, I, I don't know if he wants to do that or not. I'm not gonna wait for it. Until then, I'm gonna keep feeding my spirit, my soul, and my mouth. Okay. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I've been saying. I'm trying to be big now. Oh, man. I'm trying to go up. I'm trying to be mature. Hell, CE. No, don't ask another little question about right. no nutter, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all go together now, man. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get bucket naked. <laughs> <laughs> That far. <laughs> I don't even see it too. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Huh. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's been nice. How did that to you? Great. Mm -hmm. It's tricky. Women, mm -hmm. just know this. Anything I put in your mouth, you're going to enjoy it, baby. Oh. Keep it locked right here. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> See me this week, next week, the week after. And don't forget, bitch, I got my part. Got his <laughs> part. <laughs>